Hello, my loves. Welcome to this week's homework. We are looking at the wonderful, the amazing, the magical area of polygon. As a reminder, all of your formulas are provided for you. You just need to make sure that you're using the correct one. So we have trapezoid, which is one half of A plus B, the two different bases times the height. Triangle is one half of the base times height. Square, rectangle, parallelogram, anything in that quadrilateral category is going to be base times height. So if we come down here, this one is going to use that base times height or 29 times 7, which is going to give you 203. Don't forget your labels, inches squared. Over here is going to be a trapezoid. So both of these are going to be 24 centimeters. We need to add them together to get 48 centimeters. We need to multiply them by the height, which gets us 480 centimeters squared, but then we need to take one half of it. When we cut this in half, we end up with 240 centimeters squared. Down here, trapezoid, but we do not have matching pieces. I'm sorry, this is a parallelogram. Um, same thing we're gonna be using here, okay? So we have our two bases. We're gonna start with adding them together, so six, plus 13 is gonna give us 19. We have to multiply that by eight and then take half of it. We end up with 76 meters squared. Triangle, one half of the base times the height. We have a base of 15 and a height of 11. We multiply them together, we get 165. We cut it in half or divide it by two. We get 82.5 yards squared. Don't forget your labels. Another triangle, one half of the base, which is 12, times the height, which is nine. 12 times nine is 108. Take half of that, you get 54 feet squared. Beautiful square, so base times height, 14 times 14 is 196 millimeters squared. If you have questions on this first page, go ahead and bring them to class. Here, we're using a little bit of algebraic thinking. I know that that is your favorite. So we have the formula, but we don't have all of the missing pieces. Instead, some of them we have the answer. So for our square, we know that the area is equal to base times height. We don't have the base times height, but we know that it needs to be a doubles fact. So you're asking yourself, what times what gives you 25, or you can do the square root. Our missing piece is five feet, not squared, because we're looking for just the side length. Over here, we have one half of A plus B times the height. What do we know? One half, nine plus 17 times an unknown height. This is gonna be equal to our 156, so we're using that algebra to work backwards. 9 plus 17 gives me 26H. I need to take half of that. Half of 26 is going to give me 13H is equal to that 156. Divide both sides by 13. Our missing height is going to be 12 meters. Again, not squared because we're working our way backwards. Over here, 70 is equal to 1 half of the base, which I don't know, times the height, which is 10. Half of 10 is 5B is equal to 70. Divide both sides by five. Our base is 14 inches, okay, 14 inches. Over here, base times height, 152 equals 19H. Divide both sides by 19. Our missing piece is eight centimeters. Down here, we have one half A plus B times height. Fill in what we know, one half, 15 plus 15 equals height. One half of 30 H gives us 15 H, which is equal to our 105 to both, divide both sides by 15. Our missing measure is seven yards. Last one, 375 is equal to one half of the base, which I don't know, times the height, which is 25. Half of 25 is 12.5B. 
Divide both sides by 12.5. Yes, it's a decimal. Yes, it'll be okay. Your base is if you have questions on these, please go ahead and bring them with you to class. Here we are finding the area, but I didn't give you the picture. I gave you the words. So we have a triangle. We know that that's going to be one half of the base times the height. One half of the base times the height. 14, to, or I'm sorry, 24 times 18 is 432. Cut that in half, we end up with 216 centimeters squared. Over here, a square has a base and a height of eight. Base times height for quadrilaterals, eight times eight is 64 inches squared. A rectangle, again, is gonna be that base times height, has a height of 25, and a base of 13. When we multiply them together, we get 325 feet squared, a right triangle, one half base times height. Our height is 21, our base is nine. 21 times nine is 189, but we need to take half of it. We get 94.5 meters squared. We need a little bottom on that too. Parallelogram, we have 23 and four base times height. 23, and please cooperate, times four, 92 yards squared. A trapezoid, which is one half of the two bases times the height, use what you know, has a base of 11 and 16, a height of 10. We're gonna take half of that. 11 plus 16 is 27, times 10 is 270, Cut in half is 135 millimeters squared. Questions on this page? Go ahead and bring it with you to class. Same thing, using just words, but working backwards. I give you the area, I give you some pieces, I'm looking for what's missing. So we know that the total is 156. We're looking at a trapezoid. We're gonna fill in what we know. The bases are 26 or 23. And 16, the height is a mystery. Add these together, we get 39. Multiply with the H, half of 39 is 19.5H. Bringing this down, divide both sides by 19.5. Our height is equal to eight. Right triangle, it has a height of 12, an area of 42. So 42 is equal to one half base times 12. Half of 12 is six, so we can say 6B is equal to 42. B is equal to seven. A rectangle is a base of 17 and an area of 51. So 51 is equal to 17 times height. Divide both sides by 17. Height is equal to three. Triangle has an area of 72. We don't know the base. Our height is six. Half of six is three. Divide both sides by three. We get a base of 24. Triangle has an area of 40. The base is four, the height is unknown. Half of four is two. Divide both sides by two. Our height is equal to 20. Last one on this one, parallelogram. 378 is equal to 18, which is the base times the height, we don't know. Divide both sides by 18. Our height is equal to 21. If you have questions, go ahead and bring them with you to class. This last page is the one that I talked to you about in class where I said one side is looking at shaded, one side is looking at total area. Make sure you're doing them accordingly. I'm gonna focus on the shaded region first. And then we will switch to the other since they have two different strategies. So in order to figure out what is shaded, I need to figure out the total shaded, but then I need to figure out the missing piece so that I can subtract it. So it's a square. Total shaded, 16 times 16, base times height, gives me 256 centimeters squared. That's my shaded area. But I need to figure this out. Two times 10 is 20 centimeters squared. 
that's the white area. When I subtract them, because the white area is not shaded, total shaded 236 centimeters squared. Coming down here, start with your rectangle. 35 times 10 is 350 inches squared. That's my shaded area. For my inside area, 25 plus 25 is 50 times four is 100. So our inside area is going to be 100 for the white. Subtract total shaded is 250 inches squared. Last one. Rectangle 18 times 23 is 414 meters. That's my total shaded. Triangle, one half base times height. Nine times 15, take half of it, is 67. 0.5, that's the white area, subtract them, 346.5 meters squared is the total shaded area. So again, find your shaded area, find your white area, subtract them to find the total shaded. All right, coming over to here, we need to look at the shapes. We need to figure out what we have because we do not have a formula for an arrow, but what we do have a formula for is a rectangle and a triangle. So for our triangle, we're gonna use the triangle formula, rectangle, rectangle formula. Four times five is 20 feet squared, just for that area. For our triangle, this is three feet. This is three feet, six. How do we know what's this part? Right here, three, six plus four. That means this full base is 10. 10 times seven is 70, half of that is 35. So our triangle is 35 feet squared. We said our rectangle was 20, total 55 feet squared. Over here, similar. This base is gonna be 12 because it's a, a rectangle, it's congruent. 12 times six, cut in half, 36 yards. 12 times 17, 204. Add them together, 240 yards squared. Down here, two triangles. So our height is gonna be 17, these are congruent. Our base is gonna be 27. Over here, we have a length of 17, and our height, we need to figure out. So if this piece is five, then this piece would be five, that's 10. That means that our height over here is also gonna be 17, okay? Five on the top, five on the bottom, subtract them both from that 27, which is our full length here, leaves us with 17. So square is 17 times 17. A triangle, you could figure out one and then double it if you wanted to. So for the triangle, we have 27 times 17. Cut that in half. But really, since we have two of them, we can leave it doubled at 408. So that would be 204 for here, 204 for here. In the middle, 17 times 17 gives you 289. Want to add these all together? I get 748 millimeters squared. If you have questions, wait a minute. I don't think that's what I have. Let me check my math. No, we have 697 millimeters squared. So 289 for this 17 times 17 for our square, and then 17 times 27, Cut in half. Right, we're going to redo this. I think my math is no math. Do over. Take it back. All right. Because my math is not meeting the number I have down. So this is 27. Height is 17. We'll do our triangles first. One half base times height. One half base is 27. Height is 17. 27 times 17 gives us 459 cut in half. That's my number. So 229.5 here, 
0.5 here, and then our 17 times 17, we got it, 289. When we add that all together, there we go. We got 748 millimeters squared. Final answer. You can see the process in real life. All right, loves, I will see you next week. If you have questions, as always, bring them to class.